Alrighty, all look, we have an interesting show for you today. My name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and we are truly in my test kitchen tonight. And on board, on deck, is a 12-inch electric pizza oven by Q Stove. So guys, look, I have worked with this company in the past, and they are definitely all about innovation. Innovation, and they build products like tanks. Of course, it all started with that 12-inch pizza oven. They moved quickly into a rotating pizza oven with your hands. And of course, the 16-inch self-rotating pizza oven. Again, these products are heavy. These products are definitely built to last. And these products are definitely tanks. So on today's show, what I want to do is I want to put this little 12-inch electric pizza oven to test. It has a very interesting remote control. It definitely heats up. I got to fire it up now, and this sucker gets hot, man. If you want it hot, this sucker gets hot. But the good thing about this pizza oven is if you don't want it hot, you don't have to have it hot. Look, as a beginning pizza maker like myself, sometimes I don't want that 990 second pizza. It is too much, it is too fast for me. A lot of times the pizza is burnt and so forth. So maybe I wanna lower that pizza oven down and run it at about 500, 600 Fahrenheit. Heat that stone up nice to about 500 or so forth. This has a top and a bottom element and you can control temperatures on both. So maybe you want that uh, temperature high on the bottom and lower up top and vice versa. So this is going to be very interesting to look at. This is going to be very interesting to test. Again, the pizza oven is fired up behind me. I do have some dough that I just made up. We will start the show with that. I'll show you a foolproof pizza dough recipe that you can easily make at home. Then I will bring you guys back. We will throw it on the board. We will whip us up a pizza. I will get it in the oven. We will take this for a test drive and we will talk about a little ins and outs of this pizza oven. All that is coming right up. So before we get to our pizza making skills, let's touch on the unit and the control. Plug it in, press and hold that CF button for three seconds, then hit it again. You will see that ad. At that point, what you want to do is you want to hit that arrow going down. That is going to set your temp for the top and the bottom. Hit it once. You will see a W flashing. Hit it again and it'll turn to an F immediately go below and that sets your temperature for the uh, for the top heating element. Again, do the same thing, flashing W, hit it again. And now it is flashing F, go to the bottom and also set your bottom heating element temperature. You are also gonna get a clock and also a timer. Look, as I mentioned at the end of the video, it took me a little time to figure out this remote and I would like to see something a little bit more user-friendly and a little bit more refined. Keep in mind that this is a prototype and any of the design is subject to change. That said, it does have dual heating elements. You are gonna get a top and a bottom. We are talking three layer insulation with the ability to reach upwards of a thousand degrees. It'll have a custom temperature control control system and it is also going to come with five stylish colors. Check the timeline. I'll have this video broken up into easy to follow chapters. So look, I want to run this unit in full time when I make the pizza. So I'm going to just touch on this pizza dough right here. I'll put the ingredients up on the screen. I use a water that is just under 110. That is going to activate that yeast just like that in about maybe 15, 20 minutes. That is a little olive oil going in, a little bit of honey going in. I like a little sweetness in my pizza dough. And basically in the beginning stages of there, I like to fold it in with a, uh, with a fork before I get my hands in, add a little bit of mortar if needed. The trick here I have found is get plenty of flour on the board, get plenty of flour on the hands. There is nothing worse than pizza dough that is sticking everywhere. Oh, yeah. Just kind of work it, fold it, work it, fold it. That is the deal. A good tip to keep in mind, and trust me, I am no pizza maker, but if you start with a round ball, a nice circle, you will end up with a nice circled pizza. Oh, yeah. It took me a long time to figure that out. 
What I do is get a bowl there, get some oil in it. I get it covered with a, a warm paper towel. I put it up high, heat rises. I want it left alone. I want it to heat up and at about three hours later, it'll double to triple in size. And there you go. Guys, another little tip here is to make sure you use a lot of flour. Also, your top is always your top. It never goes to the bottom. So that top of that bowl right there is going to be the top of my pizza. Again, this is a 12 inch, so I'm going to split this in twos. And again, start with the ball, get the ball, make the circle. I am just going to press it around and just keep that circle. Then I will just allow gravity to do its thing. Yeah. So look, if you get a little pinhole in your pizza like I got there, just kind of squeeze it closed. It's no big deal. Also, what you could do if you don't want to lift up the uh, lift up the dough and uh, stretch it or, or let gravity do it, you could just kind of stretch it right on the board like that. That is a little bit of cornmeal, a little bit of flour on that peel. I will get the pizza up on that and I will start building the pie. Yeah. So look on this pizza here, I am just going to keep it simple. I am just going to go with a cheese pizza. That is going to be sauce and cheese and I am going to use plenty of it. Yeah, that's plenty of cheese, got to be. I will snap pause the screen here and get you a so guys, look, you hear that beep? That beep is telling me that the uh, pizza oven has reached its temperature, and I am gonna run this one. The stone is at 900 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna try to run this one really hot, just to see if we can get it done in that 90 seconds or so. But hey man, let's see how easy this sucker is to work at that 900 on the stone. And here we go, and guys, keep in mind that this is the first time that I am working this oven. And I'm real, real curious of how quick this pizza is gonna cook at over 900. I got the timeline, I got the, uh, I got the ticker up on the screen so you guys could follow right along. No cuts in this cook. Oh yeah. Look, this is happening live. I am gonna let the camera just run and I am gonna work this pizza. Guys, up note, be careful. The door is definitely hot, but up top of the pizza oven, behind the pizza oven, sides of the pizza oven are perfectly okay. Yeah. I also thought about rotating the pizza, but I really wanted the... Uh, I really didn't want to pull the pie out. The, the company claims 90 second pizza and I really wanted to put that to test. So look, that is a uh, that is a pretty damn good looking pizza pie right there, but I am gonna stick it back in for another 15, 20 seconds or so. We're talking at over 900 degrees in under two minutes. Guys, look, and I gotta tell you, man, that was the uh, that was the most comfortable about a. I'd say it was probably about 
about 110 second pizza that I've ever made. And that extra little bit of time that I put it in there may have crisped this up. So I bet if I pulled it out at that 90, 95 seconds, it would have been perfect. Gotta tell you, man, this is the best pizza that I've ever made on the channel and I've made plenty of them, trust me. So it looks like over here where we got a little bit crisp, a little bit dark on the bottom. Again, that's probably that extra 15 seconds that I left it in. A Little bit better over here. You know, I'm almost entitled to, to, to I was gonna lower it and go with that more comfortable you know, four or five minute pizza, but I think I'm gonna give it another shot at that 900 on the, uh, on the stone, and this time pull it out at that 90 seconds. So you know I gotta give it a try. This is unplanned. We are up in over 900, about 925. The company claims a 90 second pizza at over a thousand degrees. I gotta give it a try. I will put the timer up on the screen. Now let's see how this does. Oh. So look, as we wind that clock down, I also want to point out that the top and bottom is set at 890 and 9 to 64. So we could probably even get this pizza oven and this pizza stone hotter. We are coming up on 30 seconds. Let's take a, a little peek. Oh yeah, she's definitely looking good. And again, I am forced with that decision. Should I take it out, rotate it? I am not gonna do that again, cause I just wanna go, I just wanna go a straight 90 seconds. And I gotta tell you, you never realize how long 90 seconds is unless you are watching a clock. On the board she goes. Let's take this in live with some closing thoughts. Cut it up and that taste test. All right, guys, look, I wanted to give it a shot on that 90 second and here it is. And I'll tell you, man, it looked pretty good. A little, little, little hard here on the top, but the bottom looks better. Not bad and cheesy as cheesy can be. You know, I would have left it in a little bit longer and probably uh, lower the pizza oven to that stone. Maybe at about, we're up at 900, maybe at about 750, 800. You know, find that happy spot to get that happy pizza. And I'll tell you, man, that's not bad. And I took a bite on this uh, on this one over here, and it is cheesy good, man. This is uh, guys, you've seen my pizzas in the past. I'll load some videos down below. Stick a couple up top. You've seen them in the past. This is by far the uh, it's just the best pizza I've ever made. Or perfect, just about. Look, man, that is all I got for you here. I'm not sure how long I'm going to have this uh, this little pizza oven. It is a prototype. I do have to send it back to the company. If I have enough time, I will get another video out. Other than that, I am definitely impressed of what I saw today. There is no doubt about it. I would like to see a little bit more defined of a controller. Um, you know, it took me about a half hour just to try to figure out how to work it. Once I got it all figured out how to work it, it was one, two, three, no problem. It's got the timer, it's got the whole jazz. 16 inch would be killer. Let's cross our fingers on that. 
Other than that, that is all I got for you today. And until next time, we will see you soon.